In this video, I will be showing you how to change the SSD in your HP Omnibook X Flip. So it's actually pretty easy to open up this laptop. All you need is to remove the four screws that are in the corners. For this, we are going to be using the PH0 bit from our iFixit kit. We're gonna start out from the top and work our way around and make sure that you do not mix up the screws because we never wanna mix up any of these screws. So we'll start from the top one and take out the other ones. All right, so I want you to notice that the screws on the bottom are very tiny compared to the screws on the top. So do not mix these up. The other thing that I want you to notice is that one of the screws at the top right corner does not fully come out. That one actually is there to give you a gap so you can actually get into the laptop, which is very convenient to have and I wish that more manufacturers did this. So now that the screw created a gap for us, we're actually gonna continue on there and try to pry into the laptop slowly to try to get the lid to come off. So now that we got this side loose, we're not gonna continue prying at the bottom here because there are gonna be clips at the bottom. Usually HP does do these little hook clips. So do not keep prying it there. We're gonna go actually back to the top and we're gonna take our pick and go right here and then see if we can pop up the back. Okay, there we go for the back. We're gonna work our way all the way down the back slowly. And we're not gonna force anything, never force anything, okay? So take your time. Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna pop out the other side here. And then work our way around the left side of the unit. All right, good. It should now be loose enough to where we can kind of wiggle it out. And wiggle, there we go. And I want you to see the hooks that I'm talking about. So the front of the laptop actually has these little clips here that you do not want to break. And there's a closer shot to them. So those are gonna go in the front and they're gonna hook inward. So if you try to pry at those, these are gonna start popping off and you don't want clips flying everywhere. So let's take a look around in the laptop itself. Here we have the giant battery. On the top left, we have the fan that's gonna cool the heat sink that's attached to the CPU and APU. And on this side, we actually have our NVMe SSD that we are going to be changing. Now you notice something, don't you? There is actually no RAM slot because this unit is not upgradable when it comes to the RAM. So you have to make sure that you purchase the one that you want, whether it's the 16 gig, the 24 gig, or if any, other offers are available, make sure that you purchase the one that has the RAM capacity that you like, because you cannot add more once you purchase it. The SSD though, it is upgradable, so we're gonna be taking that out and adding ourselves in a one terabyte. All right, before we do anything though, we are going to unplug our battery. This is common practice when it comes to working on a laptop because you don't want to accidentally touch something that's gonna cause a spark and it's gonna short out your system. Just take your fingernails and pull towards you on these little two tabs that it has, and it should come right out. Now that our battery is disconnected, we can go ahead and work on the SSD. To take the SSD out, we're gonna be using the same PH0 bit, and we're gonna take out the two screws that are attached to this plate. Make sure you don't mix up the screws. It doesn't matter if they look the same. I try my best not to mix them up, and I always put them back where they came from. Now that the two screws are off, we're gonna kind of lift up on this plate and it shall reveal our SSD. Our SSD is gonna be quickly removed by lifting it slightly up. Don't push it too far or else you're gonna damage your SSD and then pull it towards you. In case you wanna see what SSD this base unit comes with, it is a 512 Micron NVMe SSD. We're going to be replacing this with a Crucial P310. It is a one terabyte NVMe SSD. So now you just have to work in reverse. Make sure that you slot it in properly according to the key that it has. There's a little notch right there. Make sure you match that and then slide it in it should go right into place and it should latch right here and you'll know it's sitting properly when this area here kind of just sits in and it doesn't move now just put everything back on and you notice there's a little thermal pad on this heat plate which is actually pretty much a heat sink so yeah definitely put this back on oh and in case you're worried about not getting this on straight this little hole right here is actually a guide that goes onto that little button right there so we're gonna match that and it lets you sit this properly Next, do not forget to plug in your battery. 
We're gonna slide that back in the way we took it out. We're gonna match these two little tabs here with the two notches there. And it should go right in. Use your thumbs to push it all the way in and you're good to go. Now we're ready to put our back panel back in and make sure that you remember those little tabs in the front. So you're gonna slide that in first. And make sure that those go in. There we go. Prior to going all the way around. I'm gonna go around the sides. And remember that the top right does not fully go in. So you work on everything else first. There we go. So now we have the whole front in. We have this side fully in. We have that side almost fully in except for that corner. And of course the back is fully in except for that corner. And that corner is going to be screwed in. And it will clip in the last clip. And last but not least, we put in our remaining screws. Remember the long one goes on the top left and the two little tiny baby screws go on the bottom. All right, that's it. You saw the entire process on how to change the SSD on the HP Omnibook. It's actually pretty simple. Now, of course, I only showed you the hardware part of it. For some of you, that is plenty of information and you're just gonna go ahead and plug in a Windows operating system and install a fresh copy of Windows anyways. But if you need to clone your NVMe to the new one, make sure that you check out the video in the description below because I will show you how to do that. I hope this video was very helpful to you. Until next time, see you in the next video. Take care of yourself.